What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to this program. Today, we're going to talk about how the mighty have fallen. Speaking of which, Orochi Yori and Genets. At one time, these two characters were the most powerful characters we could use in Guild Raid. And Guild Raid is a game mode that actually showed up just a little over a year and eight months ago, a little bit over that, somewhere around there. So it's been in the game for some time, but this is going to show you guys just how much power creep we've had in this game in that amount of time, in a little over a year and eight months, and how these characters' damage has dropped so much. Well, their damage hasn't really dropped, it's just it seems like they dropped compared to all the new characters that we've gotten. Now, in this game mode, I've showed you guys videos of my Omega Rugal, BS Rugal, sorry, that can actually get over 12 billion. In fact, my best score in this game mode uh, with him on Inferno is 13.8 billion, which isn't even the best score out there. Actually, if you have A5 EX Kyo, you can do even better than that. You'll be able to get 15 to 20 billion or more depending on your fame system, which is just nuts, right? Just insane damage. But how much damage would these two OP old characters, these two OGs do, even with having Bison on the team, using his increased target damage seed from his core board? You know, using this effect, how much damage will you actually gain? Because really neither one of these characters have dot explosion, so you would think they would actually kind of benefit. And I'm using kind of the same team composition that we used to use in the old days. And I thought this would be a fun video to do just because of that reason. Just to show you guys, like one, you can actually do this. I don't know why you would. You'd actually, I mean, in all honesty, guys, you could do a solo with Bison here and do even more damage than what I'm going to show you guys today. But just for fun, what kind of damage can these guys do? Because I was sitting around Discord last night. I thought, you know what? Let's have a little fun. Let's do something a little bit different because honestly, when you play with the same characters over and over and over and you don't challenge yourself, games can get quite boring. So I wanted to try to do this to see if I could, one, keep them alive and see if we could actually get enough damage to where we could actually get a key in here to where we could get the maximum rewards out of Guild Raid. Now, we are going to be using Orochi Ori's leadership, which is pretty damn awesome, guys. The increased tactile fighter attack by 60%. Is a big reason why he was so good back in the day. And plus, he's got 30% PG gain, right? I mean, he's just, he's really nutty. He's got all the increased penetration. I mean, there's really isn't going to be nothing too special in his kit. Something that hurts him tremendously is his lack of survivability. I mean, he's got some insane critical damage buff, critical rape buffs. You know, he's got some attack buffs. I mean, at one time, his character was the strongest in the game. It's just he's fallen off because, one, he only has super armor. He doesn't have hyper armor. He has no kind of decreased damage received. He has no form of survivability, no heal, no nothing. Now, as far as imprint stones, I got double attack, double attack, and double attack. Three double attack stones on him and no moon and star shaped stones. And for the set we're going to use for him, we're just going to use the OP OG set, the Tekken set for this character. Because along with all the extra critical damage and critical rate that Iori has built into his kit, when you add an extra 10% critical rate and all this extra critical damage, especially the way that we're going to play him because we're going to use his 5 PG over and over and over, we're really just trying to increase as much critical damage and critical rate as we can. The Entama card here actually does increase critical rate by 1.7%. Then there's an argument I could just put a different card on here. I could put a Zhang Fei card on here. I could put the uh, Rochi option card on them as well to add quite a bit of uh, damage, critical rate, and so on, critical damage. Let me see if I can find that card really quick here. Where is that sucker at? Hmm. Down here somewhere. It's down here somewhere. There it is right here. This card here, we can put this card on, but although I only have one, so I just put it on Guinness, right? And that's kind of the thing with the method that I'm going to show you guys is we're mainly going to be relying on three PGs and your five PGs. We have the Serena set to build up enough PG. Then we got these two cards here. And then we're just going to be using Guinness's three PG guard. For those of you that are new to the game, uh, People don't really use this anymore, uh, for the most part. I mean, they just don't use it because now we have Guinness's 3PG guard for BS Guinness, right? Even in PvP, people are just going to use this instead of this because this 3PG is way, way better. But I'm going to show you guys, one, you can do this with the original 3PG that you get from the Epic Quest, which is actually pretty cool. I mean, it's not going to be nothing astronomical. And we do have a double attack here. We have a single attack with extra bleed. And then we have a double attack here. So, you know... Two double attack stones and then one single attack, not even a moon and star. So the funny thing is I could actually increase my score, which is actually pretty funny uh, considering what the score that you guys are going to see. And the rest of this build is pretty much leveled up. And also, guys, I am using Okita as a striker 
for my Iori because he has this extra critical damage by 30% for 10 seconds. But, I mean, we always have Winter Holiday Leona, who also adds the exact same bonus, who's always available in the game. Again, I don't think anybody's going to be doing this anytime, but if you guys want to try this, go for it, right? Add some spice in your life as far as the game is concerned. Try something different and see if you can actually pull it off. So let's check this out, guys. Let's check it out. All right, man, and I just love this version of Iori, and I know a lot of us were praying and still praying that we get a BS version of Orochi Iori. Man, that would be insane, and just bring back the godly damage that we're used to. Now, whenever you're playing with this version of Iori, you have to be very, very careful because in Inferno, the amount of damage that Rugal can do to you is astronomical. I mean, you can... Two shots and you're dead. If he hits you two times, especially if he does the explosion, you are dead. And I literally just used the Ori, build up a few of his skills, build his PG a little bit, switch the bias and do his, you know, three PG, then switch him out, use the increased target damage received from his core skill, and then I bring in uh, Guinness, do the 3 1 2, and then do his 3 PG. With this 3 instead, you'll build up enough PG that you can build up, build up that 3 PG fast enough to go ahead and go into it. Then you do the 5 PG, and as long as Iori's applying his 5 PG before Rugal, or while Rugal is stunned, then you don't have to worry about Rugal doing an explosion on you. It's only afterwards you just gotta worry about it. So you just need to switch your character really, really fast if you want to try this, right? And yeah. And, you know, Guinness already has bleed in his kit, so once we apply the poison from Bison, we're getting the bleed with uh, Guinness. And yeah. And you're literally just trying to build up your PG as fast as possible, going to your 5 PGs. And yeah, and I remember I remember back in the day whenever we first were originally were doing this, and we were just like, oh my god, look at those damage numbers. Look at those damage numbers. And now you're just kind of like, you know, <laughs> it isn't as awesome as it used to be, that's for sure. But it's still awesome to try to do this kind of run, right? To make things interesting and fun for yourself as a player. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And I actually, you know, I was kind of surprised. I mean, I mean, again, guys, like Bison here, he could solo and do better than what I'm actually going to show you guys using Guinness and Yori. I mean, that's just the truth of it. Bison is just way stronger than those characters. And doing a solo is, would actually be better. It would actually be better. And in all honesty, a lot easier than what I'm doing right here. But, you know, at least you'll get an idea of how strong Orochi, Iori, and Guinness are, along with the with Bison and his increased target damage received skill. Because the, the brunt of our damage comes from whenever the meter is actually broken on Rugal, right? Whenever the meter isn't broken, we're not really doing that much damage. But once it's broken, that's when we're really applying it. But, I mean, you can look at Bison's damage numbers whenever he's doing his 3 PG. And then look at the damage numbers of Guinness and uh orochi iori and yeah you'll see a a stark difference between them you're gonna see a pretty big difference between these two guys oh yeah nice 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 and in, in all honesty guys this really didn't take that long i practiced a little bit on discord last night uh did a few runs on discord trying to you know remember how i did it used to do this and uh it took me a little bit of time but once I remember, I finally got my groove down. It wasn't so bad at all. I actually came in today. This is a pre-recorded video that I did for you today, but I actually only did this, just tried this once and was able to achieve it. And it really wasn't that bad. The most, the most important thing is just to make sure that Rugal is exploding on bison. And that just comes with practice and timing. And boom. Oof. So yeah, I mean, we, we, we definitely lost some life on Guinness, you know? I mean, you could use a healer also, guys, but I really wanted to try to get as much damage out of them as I could. So the better the striker bonus uh, that's increasing attack, the, the better off we're actually going to be as far as doing damage. But I've always loved Orochi Yori's 5PG. It is so vicious. So awesome the way he looks at the camera. Ah! You know, and he just starts slamming down and just terrorizing his opponents and I mean it would be so awesome to get a BS version of this character you know we're not going to get an EX version of him I don't think so because they'll probably just give us EX Iori which his super is amazing also and he looks insane so I'd, I'd really be up for that but I think a worry for a lot of players at this point in the game is are we going to get like are we going to get more BS and SS characters because now that they introduce the EX system 
Like, are they going to do it? You know, it, it's just, it, it's going to be, I mean, I'm pretty sure they will. I wouldn't see why they wouldn't. What they'll do is they'll just give us a BS character, and then we'll have to use three actual memories for them to do a change of kit to make them into an EX character later on. But that remains to be seen, guys. We'll see how that actually plays out. I mean, I'm actually interesting, interested myself to see how that's actually going to turn out. Oh, yeah. I mean, really, watching this uh, method here really does bring back the, the old memories of when we actually, like... I mean, Guild Rage still requires some skill, especially if you're trying to do, like, the best scores possible. But whenever we used to do this kind of stuff, this really took some really special timing. And you had to be very, very careful, especially now since the Inferno. I mean, at the time that Guild Raid was out, whenever we was actually using this kind of method, using Orochiori and using Guinness, we didn't have Inferno. We just had Expert, right? We didn't have all this, right? We didn't have to do near as much damage uh, for the keys. Whereas in Inferno, you need, you know, one, about, well, 1.25 billion, right, in order to get one key. And you do get four keys a day, but I mean, you know, we're over 500 million. We're climbing up on 600 million points, which I know is nothing compared to the other characters that we have available in the game. Even the weakest SS, the BS character, would easily uh, trump this and do way better. They easily do more damage uh, than these characters. But you know what? I mean, guys, like, if you want to have a little fun, give it a try. You know, see if you can actually do it. I know not everybody's going to have a... A5 Orochi lying around, especially at this point in the game. That's kind of another thing about this is, like, on my free-to-play account, I'm not leveling up Guinness or Orochi, or Iori, because I don't need them. All I need them for to level them up is just give them to level 90, and so they increase my codex, and that's it. So I can increase my CP for all the characters in the game. I don't need to awaken them. I don't need anything. I'm already at RHD tier 67. Just because I've been pulling on nothing but a collaboration characters, and those characters are just so OP that they can do everything in the game with ease, with relative ease. You know, this is really a problem that Netmarvel has and something they really should address. Because it was it was a lot of fun back in the day using these KOF original characters like this and doing this, right? It was a lot of fun. I mean, I showed you guys a video of Omega Rugal after his buff. And he did really, really well in here. He actually put up a pretty hell of a, a pretty nice score, right? I mean, it was it was godly impressive, right? But we're gonna get over 700 million with these guys, which you know, in two keys, would give us the max rewards, right? It would give us the max reward, which is pretty funny. And there you go, guys. 727 million for Orochi Yori. And Guinness. And I know that isn't some, you know, outlandish score. It's nothing compared to what we've normally done. But I wanted to show you guys this to one, show you that you can do it with these characters. I don't need Bison in here. I could use a completely different character. I mean, I could use uh, BS0, but I mean, Jesus, if you're going to use BS0, you might as well just use him uh, just to try to do, you know, complete solos because you'd actually do way more damage if you did but i just wanted to shed some light on how much power quit we've actually had in this game you know because whenever guild raid first showed up one we didn't have the fame system to level up all of our cp right we didn't have all these bs and ss characters all we had was kof original characters so that's all we could rely on to do the best damage that we could and it really does show the level of power creep that we've had in the last year and eight months in this game. I mean, it's really been astronomical. I mean, to go from, I mean, I was doing like 500 million before Bison showed up. And the original Guild Raids over a year and a half ago, or a year and eight months ago, I was doing around 500 million, maybe a little over 500 million with Orochiori and Guinness on the team with some kind of meter breaker. Well, actually, Guinness was the meter breaker. And, you know, now even with Bison, I'm doing over 700 million. But, you know, EX kill, 15 billion to 20 billion. My Rugal doing over 12 billion. It's just an insane amount of power creep that we've been getting in this game. So guys, let me know what you think about Orochi Yori and Guinness actually getting it done against Gale Raid. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. June 2 plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See everybody.